Hello, chem students. Today we're discussing types of graphs that we use in chemistry. So graphing, why do we do it? We graph data to communicate information visually. I am going over four types of graphs that are commonly used in chemistry. The first type is the circle graph, also known as the pie chart. This type of graph is used to illustrate numerical proportions compared to the whole part, also known as percentages. The next type of graph is the bar graph or histogram. This type of graph is used to illustrate relative sizes and displays data using, using bars of different heights. The line graph is used to illustrate how data changes over time. And the last type of graph is the scatter plot, which is used to illustrate the relationship between two sets of data. When we describe how two sets of data are related, we commonly use the descriptors inversely and directly proportional. Inversely proportional is opposite in order or effect. An example would be when one variable increases, the other variable decreases. Or when you drink more water, the less thirsty you become. The product of two variables always equals a constant. In this example, when you multiply the variables x and y, it always equals 4. So the variables x and y are inversely proportional. Directly proportional is the same in order of effect. When one variable increases, the other variable also increases. An example would be the more hours you work, the more you get paid. One variable is always the product of the other variable. Thanks for watching.